When you walk past a patch of moss, you're likely in the company of a teeny tiny microscopic creature called a tardigrade. A tardigrade is a type of micro animal that lives in water. Some live in the sea or in lakes or ponds, but others have adapted to life on land. They live in the thin film of water that collects in moss and lichen after a rain. This one was found in some moss on a mountain in Prescott, Arizona. The name tardigrade comes from the Latin words for slow stepper, named for its clumsy lumbering walk. All tardigrades have eight legs, with two at the end of the body and three on each side. You can see the way it moves the last pair together to push itself around. You also might have noticed that this tardigrade is see-through, but you can't see any bones. Tardigrades don't need bones because they have a hydrostatic skeleton. That's a fancy way to say that the pressure of fluids inside the tardigrade help the animal keep its shape. Kind of how the water in this glove helps the fingers stand up and wave hello. Tardigrades are also called moss piglets or water bears. The name water bear comes from its long bear-like claws found on the tip of every leg. It's showing them off here. The moss piglet name comes from their chubby body and their tube-like mouth that looks like a snout. Can you see its mouth here on the left? It's puckering up like it's getting ready for a kiss. Tardigrades eat by sucking things up through their mouth using a muscular bulb called a pharynx. The pharynx works like the bulb of this eyedropper. When the bulb is squeezed and released, it creates suction that draws fluids in. Tardigrades use two special spear-like mouth parts called stylets to pierce their food. You can see them here. Some tardigrades eat plants and others eat meat. Some even eat other tardigrades. Some of the animals that share a tardigrade's environment are sock-shaped rotifers like this one. Nematode worms like this wriggly one are also common. Nematodes and rotifers can end up as a tardigrade's snack. If the moss a tardigrade is living in starts to dry up, the tardigrade will dry up too. The tardigrade's body releases substances that hold and protect its cells and proteins from getting broken or messed up as it dries. Some of the substances work a little bit like glue, keeping everything in place. When the tardigrade is fully dry, its body is slowed down so much that it's nearly dead. When its environment starts to get wet again, the tardigrade wakes up and starts to repair damaged cells and DNA. The longer it had been dried up, the harder it will be to recover. The special chemicals made by the tardigrade's body and its ability to repair DNA make it one of the toughest animals on Earth. It can survive freezing to near absolute zero, high pressure, and radiation too. They are so tough, NASA chose them to be the first animal to experience the vacuum of space. Most return to Earth unharmed. How cool is that? We have so much more to learn from these fascinating creatures.